On July 31st, there was a riot. So on August the 14th, youth jumped a staff member. On August 17th, a brawl took place between 14 youths. Several serious incidents at the Jefferson Regional Juvenile Detention Center. August 27th, multiple fires were set by that same female with her lighter that was still not retrieved. All happening within weeks of each other. Those at the top blame staffing shortages. Now this was a time again we were extremely short staffed. The state says being short staffed is particularly difficult at this facility. The state's plan is to raise pay to attract hires, but so far there haven't been many takers. We continually look for places and you know colleges we've worked with and so forth, but Honestly, so far, it's been a lot of effort with very little return. Still, state lawmakers argue more needs to be done now. Somebody dropped the ball big time. Former detention center supervisor Mike Ross says he blew the whistle years ago. You can't run the 24-hour facility with four youth workers. If you got 37 kids, but you only got 33 rooms. And sharing rooms are boys and girls. And that's not against the law in Kentucky at least not yet. You say the law allows that, it ought not. Okay. I have uh, reports from employees that they, these kids are having sex with one another. These young people are in danger, and it is on all of us, especially you, to get this thing resolved. Although the Justice and Public Safety Cabinet claims that it's been reducing the number of kids at the center, State Rep Jason Nemes says he hasn't seen any proof of that. Next week, Focus will have much more a deeper dive into what's going on at the center. In Frankfurt, I'm John Charlton, WHS 11, on your side.